everyone welcome back to my channel so this is kind of my new setup and I think I am digging it so hopefully it is brighter and you guys can see more I know there's a little bit of an echo right now um, that's because my walls are bare I haven't hung up anything yet I do have my little Halloween scenario going on back here so I'm super excited for that I got my little witch my mirror my potions I have a little gnome on this side so as you guys know October is definitely my favorite time of year. But that is not why we're here today. We are here today for the October Boxy Charm unboxing, and I cannot wait to see what is in here. So, before we get started, if you guys are not subscribed, please go ahead and hit that button down below. I would love to have you. You can also follow me on Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter. I will have those all listed down below as well. And yeah, let's see what we got for the month of October. Okay, so this is our premium box. I can see some good things on top. So the first item I see is from Kosas. This is the Color and Light Cream Blush and Highlighter. Okay, in the shade Velvet Melon, I'm guessing. Yeah, Velvet Melon. Have I heard of this brand before? I'm not really sure if I have or not. All right, so it's a very, very sleek packaging. I like that it's a little heavyweight. Let's see what this bad boy looks like. Ooh, ooh. It looks like it melts. <laughs> Can you guys see? You see the shift on there? How it's sticking up? Yeah, it definitely melted. But these are really pretty colors. All right, let's go ahead and give this a swatch. Oof. Ooh, that is pretty. Can you see it? I don't know. Right there. Yeah. Definitely like melting into the skin. I love that. So that would be definitely something I could wear to work. The next item I see is from Fenty Beauty. This is their Brow MB MVP Ultra Fine Brow Pencil and Styler in the shade dark brown. That's awesome because that is my exact brow shade. So super excited to try this out. This is something I haven't tried. I love Fenty Beauty. I love the sleek packaging of this. Mm, yes, love me a good brow product. So let's see. Oh, this is perfect. That is literally absolutely perfect shade for me. And then of course on the other side we oh no that is definitely different i was expecting a little spoolie but it's not it's like a little brush that is so cute so we can go in and just brush the hairs in oh yeah i actually really dig that that is definitely something unique i'm very happy with that one Okay, so the next item we have, I am not going to swatch because this is not a shade for me. Uh, this is the Laura Geller New York 50 Kisses Lip Locking Liquid Color. So it's a liquid lipstick. Um, I like the packaging on it. It's, it's huge. Uh, this is in the shade Pink Pucker. But I am not a pink lipstick wearing kind of gal. So this is going to go ahead on the side for a giveaway. Ooh, what is this? Okay, this is the Illuminati, Illuminati Times Isa, designed by Isabel Bedoya. I don't know how to say that. Look at the packaging though, that's really, really pretty. I love this packaging. Like anything that has like stars or galaxy, I'm all about. Ooh, that's definitely different. Okay. I don't know what I was expecting, but I'm definitely happy with this. So this is what the inside looks like. I love the pops of color up top. This shade right here is really pretty. You know what? Let's just go ahead and do a couple of swatches. Definitely need to do the purple dream because that's gorgeous. Oh no, it's not really, it's like a topper. We'll see. Okay. And then we got to do the Izzy. It's like a glitter. Yes, uh, this blue shade, that's really pretty. And let's go ahead and do this rose shade. 
So these are the shades right here. And then there are your swatches. They swatched okay. Um, it's definitely not the most pigmented palette I've ever seen. Uh, the glitter is really pretty. The topper is pretty. This matte shade right here is probably the best I swatched. Let's go ahead and do a couple more real fast. So let's do the green, the gold, uh, the shade, and this shade. So these are the rest, a couple more shades. These are like remind me of like Easter colors. So, oh that one's really pretty. The gold. Oh now that turned out good. Those shades turned out real good and that really reminds me, like I said, of Easter. Um, so that would have been a good palette for, what, April? But I don't know, we'll have to play around with it and see what we can do. Okay, so the next item is from GoTo. I don't know if I've ever heard of them. It's the Exfoliating Swipies. Foolproof exfoliating pads for glowing skin. All right, so this is what the container looks like. It's very cheap feeling. Like it feels like something out of the drugstore or even the Dollar Tree. And then, ew, it smells like lemony fresh, kind of. It smells really nice. I'll definitely have to give this a test out tonight and see how that feels on my face. Uh, I like the way those smell. All right, and then the last, the last item is from Clarins. Uh, this is the Instant Smooth uh, Line Smoothing Perfect Touch. What is this? Minute Base Combate? I don't know. Smooths wrinkles and fine lines, blurs effect texture, apply alone or before makeup. Close lid well after use. Okay, so it's like a primer, I'm assuming? Okay, so Instant Smooth Perfect perfecting touch so I guess it is a primer it comes with like a little spoolie so you can like scoop it out before you put it on your face so you don't have to dig your fingers in oh that's interesting doesn't really have a smell to it but look at the way that it came isn't that interesting huh I want to see what this feels like take it just a little bit on my hand Ooh, that feels really good. I can definitely see the smoothing and the pore perfecting because the little holes in my hands have disappeared. And it's really smooth. It's not tacky at all. I like that. Oh, I really like that. Okay. Okay, so let's go ahead and go over how much the box is worth. So we got the eyeshadow palette for $48. We have the Smooth Perfecting Touch Primer for $39, okay. The Highlighter and Blush Palette for $34. The Go-To Exfoliating Wipes for $35. Fenty Beauty Brow is $20. And the Laura Geller Liquid Lipstick is $21. So this comes to a total of $197. Okay, I think everything is really reasonably priced in here. Um, I like that there's actually a couple products in here that I would not probably have picked up, but I'm definitely interested in trying, such as the primer. I really like the way that it made my the back of my hand look, so I can't wait to see what it's gonna do on my face. Um, the exfoliating wipes. The packaging definitely throws me threw me off, but it smells divine. The brow pencil, I probably would have picked up eventually, but I'm really excited that this is in here so I can test this out because if I had to choose a couple things to go with me throughout the day without having to do a full face of makeup, I would definitely do brows, um, mascara, and maybe some lip gloss, and maybe some highlighter. <laughs> uh, so we have the cream, blush, and highlighter. I actually, 
I'm starting with like cream products. I really like the way the fact that the, the highlighter melted into the skin. That's really nice. I hate that it come damaged a little bit, but it's nothing that, you know, is like treacherous. Uh, the lipstick, not my shade, so that's going to go in the giveaway. And the palette has some really pretty colors in here, and I can't wait to play in this and see what I can create. So I think this is a really good box. I don't know if I would consider this a premium box. I would consider this more like a base box, but that's just me. I don't know. Tell me what you think. <laughs> I almost forgot. Uh, so I got number four, and I know you guys like knowing the weight of the box. So just so you guys know, this box weighs 1.9 pounds. So I didn't forget. <laughs> But that's it guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. Um, I have another Halloween video coming your way so you guys make sure you subscribe so you guys know when that video goes live and I will see you next time. Bye.